Well, that, that was like two different games, the first eight innings and that, la- and that ninth. It was uh, good to see the guys uh, fight back. Uh, we had a chance with the tying run at the plate. Um, so it was good to see them uh, battle back. Uh, Morgan threw, threw a whole lot of pitches in that first inning, which gives you an indication he didn't have his good command, good control. And uh, after that, he kind of settled in. The only other uh, big hit that kind of hurt him was the double to Lester. Um, uh, gave up only three runs. It, was, it w- wasn't very exciting for eight innings, but that ninth inning was a lot of fun. About Morganton, I mean, these guys hit him pretty hard 11 days ago, and he was in some deep trouble pretty quick there. He still gave you six innings, though. Yeah, he did. He, you could see the determination in his eyes. He, he really wanted to have a good outing. And as I said, when you throw 30 pitches in the, in the first inning, it's a true indication that you don't have your, your command, obviously. Uh, that little bloop uh, pop up uh, hurt, and the uh, ground ball that Soler hit, you know, uh, infield hit. That didn't help, uh, but he did pitch well. What was your take on the uh, Lester double? Was that a ball that could have been caught? Maybe a better angle was taken to it, or is it? I didn't see that. I mean, I, I didn't see that. Um, um, no, it just it was a it was too good of a pitch to hit. You think Morgan had a little extra urgency? Um, I think he felt he urgent. He, he I think so. I think he knows he has to pitch better, and he did today, which was good to see. Scuffled. He, he he battled out. He struck out a couple guys with bases loaded and uh, really made some good pitches. But you know you have to make pitches, good pitches every inning. Lester made a lot of good pitches. He he really shut us down. He he really pitched well today. With his issues, Lester throwing the bases and seeing how he sidestepped that one gorgeous play, was it enticing after that to try to bunt a little more against him? You well, you know, the guys who can bunt gave it a shot. You know, Borges and Freddie and uh, Cesar. They all tried. Well, Fre- I don't know if Freddie did. Uh, but uh, you know it's tough. Those those two corners, the third baseman and first baseman, they they attack when they, they see a guy bunt, and they're protecting Lester because they know he he doesn't want to feel the ball. Um, you know, perhaps we could have bunted more, but not everybody is a very good bunter. How tough is it to take Joseph out of the lineup right now? The way he's he's hitting. Well, it's very very tough. You know, I said I'm I'm going to play Howie tomorrow. Uh, even if I do stay with Joseph more often, I mean, I still have to keep Howie sharp and give him an opportunity to to do something for us. So it was good to see. You know, uh, he's a big, he's he's been a big part of the team. How puzzling is um, is Freddie Galvis at the plate sometimes too? Par- uh, sorry, Liz. Can Galvis be at the plate too sometimes? Good at bats. <laughs> He made this, you know, I talked about this the other day about our hitters. They, they make the same outs the same way over and over. You know, Freddie made, struck out three times on the same pitch. Uh, and he's got to learn how, to, how, how not to expand his own that way. And uh, certainly it was good to see the three-run home run, but sometimes that, that hurts him really because he, he feels like he needs to swing the bat as hard as he did, you know. Uh, he needs to he needs to get back to how he was the the beginning of last year for those first six weeks where he was using the whole field. Yeah, so is that the same thing you say with everybody? Like they're making they're the same mistakes over and over again. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, we were talking uh, it, w- when you're walking to school, and every time you you take the the one road the one road to your school, and there's a big tough guy that beats you up and takes your money, your mo- lunch money. After a while, I think you're going to take a different route, you know. So likewise, the pitchers, I mean, the hitters got to, they got to figure out, I'm not going to keep doing what, what I'm doing. That guy's not going to beat me up and take my money anymore. I'm going to go around him. That's the kind of thing they have to do, figure out a way to eliminate those mistakes.